Hi, this is Stevie White with Virtual Horse Help. I'm here in Fort Worth, Texas at the NRCHA Snaffle Bit Futurity. I've got an interview coming up with Carol Metcalf, who after a sudden change of plans, won the Level 1 Limited Open Snaffle Bit Futurity. Let's hear it from her. Hi Carol, congratulations on your run to win the Level 1 Limited Open at the NRCHA Snaffle Bit Futurity. From what I understand, there was a sudden change of plans for you to ride this mare. There was a very sudden change of plans. About five days before we came here, uh, my husband had a horse accident and separated his shoulder and broke some ribs in his back. So we own that mare and so we had to kind of come up with a new game plan and we decided that I was it. So we just took a chance and, and it worked out. <laughs> well, that's awesome. Did you feel any pressure with that change of plans? Well, an immense amount of pressure. The last time I showed it, a snaffle bit futurity was in 2007 when I made the finals in Reno. And so I have not even gone out of the herd since then. Or, you know, I've shown this year I've shown a two rein mare, uh, extra foolish gun, which luckily I have done that. So, you know, the, the fence work was, was not a mystery to me. But like I said, I have not ridden this with the Annie's Code since probably February. So she's so much more broke now, but she's so easy. It was, it was really fun. Awesome. Can you tell me about those three runs that brought you to this point? Uh, the first one was the raining and I was a 216 and she was really easy and honestly, this is going to sound crazy, but I was probably the most nervous for the raining because I mean I've never shown her before and it's not like waiting for a bigger event, you know. Um, so, but she was super good, super honest and then I was a 210 out of the herd which I was elated about because that's probably was, is my, my weakest point here. Um, and then down the fence, she was really honest. I was a 214 and a half, so. That sounds great. Where did you find this sweet little mare? Um, Carol Rose brought us a couple of two-year-olds last year, and she was nice enough to let us have this mare. Um, she just is super honest. She's by Electric Code and out of a daughter in New Cash, and she is just a sweetheart. Great. What do you call her at home? Annie. <laughs> Awesome. Well, congratulations again on your win, Carol. Thank you. All right. Hi, I'm Frank Costantini. I'm here this afternoon with Amanda Lester and Chloe Lawrence. Amanda, you have some questions you'd like to ask Chloe and I as far as what we do with Markel? I sure do, Frank. So what all does Markel cover? We cover farms and ranches, uh, equine mortality, commercial liability, and also autos. And Frank, what's so important about Markel? Well, we provide service. You know, it's a 24-hour claim service uh, anytime, day or night. If you can't get a hold of a Markel representative on our toll-free number, you know, as I tell people, you know, Chloe keeps her phone by her bedside all the time, and, and you know, unless I'm on a plane, my phone is on. So we've got about 24-hour service, you know, and I think that's very important because uh, horse people, as you know, have, have difficulty keeping a schedule. And what most people would consider the norm, horse people don't. It's just, it's just whatever the, the particular animal needs. And we'd like to offer the, the fact that we're available whenever they need us, you know. Horses don't know if it's Christmas, Easter, or the 4th of July. You know, every day is the same. Well, Frank and Chloe, thank you guys so much for your time. And thank you for your sponsorship of Virtual Horse Help and other reigning events and other shows and all that. You guys are a great part of this industry. Well, Amanda, we appreciate what you do. And... Uh, uh, with virtual horse help and also your contribution that you make and uh, the publicity you bring to companies like Markel and to people like Chloe and myself. Awesome guys, thank you Chloe for your time. Thank you and knowledge is power. <laughs>